So on this particular day, I waited till just gone nine o'clock, although my edge cutter is actually quieter. I did the inside and the outside of the hedge and I mowed the lawn. Then with the back, I strimmed the just the edge near the fencing and the path mowed it so um yeah it's kept not too bad yeah i've got a big tomato plant actually growing on my slate um i'm not sure whether i'm going to take it up or not um and this was the tools but what happened was i was going to start my shed just sort of reevaluating what's in my shed reviewing decluttering organized and that sort of thing but it came over really black and I thought it looked like rain so I decided to actually put everything back like the mower and everything and have something to eat then go back to this project to tell you the truth it probably looks worse than what it is because once I review everything it's not that bad I do like my Bosch um, tools as you know I got the mower um, a few years ago and then this year I invested in a new strimmer and an edge cutter which were quite expensive but I'm really pleased with them so that means that this Black & Decker strimmer that played up can now go it is an old one and I've got the box there to the new strimmer which um, sorry edge cutter which I'll probably keep now um that's my go-to bag. I lift that up. It has like brushes in, um, a tin of gloss paint, things like that. What um, I'm sort of dealing with at the time. I put bits in my bag and take them into um, the home. And then I swept it all out and everything. Those um, metal pieces at the back of what hubby lasered at work and these are all the um sort of decorating old blankets and stuff i've kept all of them because it's surprising how many i need when i do the hall landing and stairs i did a quick review of um all my paints and everything and it looks like i'm good to go for the small projects that i've got in mind i keep all my brushes there and this box houses all my granddaughters um sort of outdoor toys this little paglin pool is one of those with the half lid um she had it when she was a baby but if we don't have the bigger pool out which is underneath then we use that for the baby dolls you know and um sort of a uh tea set a plastic tea set and things like that I've also looks as though i've got enough um sort of stuff to do the fencing well the inside of the fence and also um the shed and normally like my other one I, on that hook i would have my strimmer but this is a more heavy duty one so i've decided to keep it the black pot i'm definitely going to keep but the other two i will get rid of and that is my other set of two step um steps for decorating then on the hooks i've got my big brush and my dustpan and brush now when i haven't got those pots um this actually goes all the way in but i've got enough gangway to actually get into the shed and get what i need to but once i get rid of those pots maybe some of the blankets i can then put those bags up on the top i'm not getting rid of those at the moment because they're handy although i do pay for my garden waste and because i decided to get rid of the other um steamer i could put those two pots of paint up now here i'm saying about the cable that needed to have a holder for it but i know for a fact this cable is going to go so i can use this one for the cable so it doesn't get tangled this cable is a bit touchy and very old like anything else that i've started replacing so i'm really pleased how this turned out and this was actually less than i think about half an hour actually in the end so what's going is the strimmer the steamer and this other little um sort of toy because my granddaughter has got a couple of new bits that i've got um that haven't been used yet there's a probably a, a couple of items that i probably could have got rid of this year because she's outgrown them 
but I'll see when she comes because there's nothing like getting rid of something and she's asking for it. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.